Today I'm at my friend Megan's house. You've seen her in quite a few videos before. She actually has quite a few pets, so I thought I would just do a little video introducing you to all of them. She does have a tarantula, and I know a lot of you will probably want to see it, but it's going to be the only time you'll ever see a tarantula on my channel because there's no way I'm getting one. But I thought I would just show them all off today. So here's the first one. This is just one of her betta fish, and look how pretty his tank is. What is his name? Phineas. Phineas. This is the one you actually saw in one of my pet vlogs. This, it was quite a few months ago. But this is Phineas and he is in a fluval, is this a five gallon uh, tank? Yes. Something like that. Yes, yeah, five gallon. But literally it is gorgeous and it makes me jealous. So there is Phineas and then right beside Phineas. Let me get the flashlight on her. Is Beatrice. No. She is beautiful. So what type of a tarantula is she? She is a Brachypelma vegans or a Mexican red rump. So she comes from a desert species, so her cage is always really dry except for her water dish. So pretty much it means she's um terrifying. Yeah. And you can't touch these because they'll put these little hairs in you. There you can see her pretty well. So we're actually getting ready. We're gonna try to feed her some crickets. So this is she's in a 10 gallon. So yep. she just has her water dish and some plants. And she has some cool little like yeah, hinds over here. She's made a burrow underneath her big hide. And some nasty she, little webs. She spins How old is she? She is 11 years old. Oh gosh, she's old. She could get to be about 30 years old and I hope she does because she's beautiful. Okay, so let's try to feed her. Okay. So here are her crickets. They're nice and gut loaded for her. She may turn around and come back out. If I scream, guys, don't be alarmed. <laughs> I, I will be alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just have to leave crickets and I'm trying to get big ones for her because she's a big girl. This is intense. I'm like so nervous right now, just waiting know, for her to like pop out. I don't know why. See, it's going right up to her. All right, so oh. she's coming out. She might actually eat. She's hunting now. There's a little bit of a glare, so it's kind of hard to see. Maybe if I film for him. Ooh. Don't drop your camera, because she will move fast. I have it around my wrist. Oh, okay because this is terrifying. She throws her hairs at me, I will She won't. throw she my does. hairs right back. She used to flick her hairs a lot at everything, but now she's like, she's a little older lady. She doesn't care. She has no hair. But what throw. she's doing is she's actually, um, tarantulas can sense the vibrations in the ground. Yes. So she is actually paying attention to all the vibrations that are happening. Oh, that's terrifying. She usually doesn't have to hunt for crickets because I just throw them down the hole at her and she eats them. All I know is there's no way my mom is going to be watching this video. <laughs> She'll probably cry when I tell her how close I was to the tarantula. Because you could have died. <laughs> okay, we're going to put another one right in front. Oh god, you hit her. She's dead. She died. Maybe she'll get this one that's coming up beside her. Oh, well, there she tried to grab it. Ooh, look at those legs. Right. Well, it doesn't look like she's going to eat, but if you guys wanted to see a tarantula, there she is. This will be the only tarantula you ever see on my channel. And moving away from spiders, over here she has another beta, still in a really, really cool tank. I think I like the other tank a little bit better, but this still makes me jealous. Um, so over here, this is Jasper, it's just another little male beta. It doesn't look like he wants to show off like the other one did. No, he doesn't do much. But it has a couple moss balls. And this is just a Petco brand tank, I believe. It's very pretty though. I'm very jealous of the tanks. Oh, he's freaking out. So that is her other beta. Now we will go on and look at the pup. Oh. Okay, so next up we have someone you've seen on my channel quite a few times before. This is Lucy. Um, we used to live together back in college. She is a Shih Tzu. She just turned seven years old and she is so sweet. Is there anything you wanna say about Lucy? Um, she's the best dog in the world. Oh, Lucy. And she knows it, because she's so spoiled. And then right beside Lucy is Arnold. If you look really close, he actually has no eyeballs. He has kind of like eyeball goo. Um, but he was adopted from when she worked at a vet. He lost his eyes as a kitten. Literally, I still don't believe he's blind though, because he can like chase toys and I don't know. I think he's tricking everyone. Mm -hmm. How old is Arnold? He is five now. And she does have two other cats. We'll try to hunt them down. They're not quite as fond of strangers, but let's go try to find them. Okay, so there's actually someone, oh, there's two of them waiting for us at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna film with the zoom because as you can tell, they're leaving. 
So the one in here, this is Dexter. He's the only cat that has two eyeballs. I actually got him for her for her birthday um, in college as a little surprise. I don't usually recommend pets as presents, but I knew she'd been wanting a cat and I knew she was prepared to have another cat. Yeah, you can see he kind of pulls his hair out. Oh, honey. You're still a pretty boy. All right, and now we will try oh, goes, to find Clarence. Hi, honey. As you can see, Clarence has one eye. He had the same problem as Arnold. Not a fan of strangers. And the last pet she has is a leopard gecko. Her name is Tina from Bob's Burgers. She's right here in her little hide. Is she gonna come out? You probably know. She is a Max Snow. Let me get my light so you can actually see her. It just looks pitch black. There you go. She's very pretty. I love her little tiny spots. So she's also in a 40 gallon, the same size as Piper's. It looks really, really cool. But she's a little bit more shy than Piper. As you know, Piper's kind of crazy for a gecko. So that yeah, is she... Tina. How long have you had her? Just mm, a few months? Since May. Since yeah. the end of May. So, yeah. But that, that is awesome. Tina. So that was just a little look at all of Megan's animals. She has a lot of them, not as many as me, but a few just different ones. The tarantula is definitely my least favorite, um, but she's cool to look at and I know you guys would probably appreciate her. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some new little pets. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.